Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you don't know me already, my name is Jordan uh, and welcome if you're here for the first time. Remember as always guys, if you wouldn't mind giving us a like and subscribe, we are smashing it at the moment. I'm gonna just, yeah, I wanna thank you very much for doing so. If you have already, keep liking, keep commenting um, and we're flying up, which is making me really nice and happy. So today's video is a big one for me, mainly because I've been waiting to do this for ages. I'm just sort of saving up and stuff like that and eventually we've done it. It's, they've been sent off, they've been done, uh, MS Custom Engineering. If you don't know what MS Custom Engineering is, he's got an Instagram, he's got Facebook, he always puts pictures up, mainly, well, from what I've seen, is Clio, so 182s, 172s, mainly manifolds, engine blocks, he does it the whole sort of shebang. Also 197s, RS200s, and he ventures out to MX5s and things like that as well. So if you do have, if you don't have a Renault, feel free to ask him, and he might be able to do something for you guys as well. Um, but yes, I've been to see him last night, brought all the stuff back, but obviously it was a bit too dark to do it then. I got a day off today, Harrison's sleeping, so it's a perfect time for me to sort of start the video and hopefully get a vid little video out there for you on Sunday, and we'll push it more uh, next Sunday, maybe fitting it and stuff like that. So we'll see how we get on, but proper happy about it, proper happy about the way it's come out. I'm going to get it out bit by bit, sort of starting at the smallest part, going up to the main manifold. Uh, and then I'm, he's also given me, very kindly, another set of inlets, so the upper and the lower inlet again, um, obviously that haven't been done yet, so I can show you the comparison. He said to use a gasket, I, got, I bought two new gaskets as well, um, obviously just to go on and make sure everything's all good, but he gave me the two older inlets to compare to his ported and gas flowed ones, so hopefully you guys can see for the improvement, what he does to them, uh, to obviously make it better. But yeah, we're gonna get straight to it. So I've got all my parts in and spread out, so now we're just going to pop it onto the table. Sorry, Em, but I'll try and use some of all this bubble wrap and stuff that, you're given, that he's given me that he wrapped up so I can transport it back in the 197. I'm going to stick the camera up on the light, lol, and give yourself a good view. Um, but yeah, we're going to get out one by one, but it just shows the, the care that he puts in by giving me all the bubble wrap, even though I went and picked it up. Okay, so like I said, we're going to start with the little stuff, and then we'll sort of progress from there. So just the basic stuff first of all. Number one. This is going to reveal the colour. So the main bulk. I've gone for an anthracite. This is obviously the camera cover and the engine mount, where the engine mount's going to go. I'm not going to get this on straight away. Um, I'm going to do it all when I get a power flex mount, probably a purple one, or is it yellow? Not the black one anyway, pretty much, because that's too hard, I think, for what I want. I might not even change it, because a lot of people say it adds a little bit more rattling, so I definitely want the dog mode mount. I'm going to see how that goes, um, and then we're going to go for the um, engine mount if. I require so, but anthracite is number one. Anthracite is the main colour. Obviously, I went for that as a bit of an extra, just because you're going to see that still, even with the engine cover on. Fuel rail guard. I want to keep the fuel rail guard on to protect the fuel rail. So, um, I got this one shot blasted and painted as well, and set in the same colour. Is it interesting about that? Apparently, they don't all have this groove. Apparently, you machines that groove out for for some people, but mine has it. Maybe because it's an RS inlet rather than just the standard ones, but. Throttle bodies next. I only went for ported and gas flows. I didn't go for enlarged, um, but as you can see from the inside, looking all pretty. Now getting to the big boys. So obviously we've taken these off. Um, the gaskets come with. My gaskets were looking a bit sorry for themselves, um, so I didn't keep them. But my RS lower inlet. Obviously they're not all RS, but when they go to max, you'll port them all to the same size. Um, he showed me the difference between an RS and a standard one, and the standard one is a few mil smaller for each of the inlets than it is on the RS, so the RS one is technically better as it is. I'm not sure about the upper, outlet, uh, upper inlet, it might be the same, but all in amphosite, just to keep it all the same. And then the big boy, this one's really wrapped up. So this is the main business, this is where I was confused about colours. Um, what to have polished, what not to have polished. Ooh. So yeah, that was what I went for on the main inlet. So that is gonna be the main view from the top. This is the color I want my alloys in as well, the TD 1.2s. I want them in anthracite. I went for the polished badge in the end. I didn't know whether to go black gold or polished, but I went for polished just to make it stand out a little bit more in the bay and just the red lines. Nothing, no clear sport lines, no French flag or anything like that, I just stuck with the red. But I think that gives it a nice, good, clean look. So that is obviously gonna be the main point of view and everything else stuck onto the side of it. Okay. 
and that was everything that I bought. Obviously the gaskets, I bought them from Max. He does sell these as well. I'll go you through all the price ranges with you guys in a minute, um, but I got both of those gaskets just so it can be all new and shiny and I'm not gonna have any issues putting those old ones back in because I'll show you in a minute, they're a bit old and they a bit old and a bit tatty, but he said he tried to do this red as well, um, but he said it was a little bit of a pain in the bum, so I was like, that's fine. No one's really gonna get their head right around there and have a look at that, so. Because everything, including the guard, is gonna be on and protecting it, so. Just to finish off the upper inlet, if you've got enough room for this. Car, just so I went with black gold. And I think it looks amazing. Ah, Jesus. I think it just looks perfect. I'm so happy I went with black. I wasn't going to go with red because I wanted it to pop. I wanted it to match the the, um, the GMRS induction gear and all that piping that's going around in there. But then I thought I don't want it to be too much. I'm not driving a race car. I'm not driving a show car. It's just something that I wanted to look a little bit prettier. So, and the last little touch that I bought on eBay the other day was my little sticker that I'm going to put on today just with a red 16 valve and an Amphasite 2.0 litre. But I think that really finishes it off. And that is the haul from MS Custom Engineering. I'm gonna put links down the bottom for MS Custom Engineering, etc., etc. but like I've said in the start of the video, Instagram, Facebook, anything. He is your man. Have a look. Any color you want, pretty much he'll do for you. Um, and to any sort of part, obviously he does, uh, sorry, he does, enlarge these to a 64 mil. I think they're about 60 mil standard, um, but it'll obviously thin all that down to 64 mil and that'll give it a better flow, mainly for sort of higher brake engines. So if you're changing cams or you're going for turbo, you might want to look towards getting an enlarged throttle body. Because once again, that's allowing more air in and sort of going to help out for the big power. But mine is not, mine is still NA for now. So I just went with the basic for money reasons, but yeah. This is the haul from MS Custom. For the rest of the video, I'm pretty much going to go out to my car in a minute and just place it on top and give myself a little bit of excitement. Um, but yeah, I just need to put a sticker on uh, and then we're going to compare, well, we're going to compare next, actually, the difference between a ported and gas flowed inlets um, to the standard ones he's provided for me. So I'll get these gaskets out so now I can show you sort of with a gasket what the difference is because it'll be quite hard to see just visually on the camera sort of from what I can see from being here in person pretty much. but. The smell of new paint is all good. So we're just going to move on to do a little bit about price. And I did ask him for a list because obviously there's a little bit to remember and I didn't want to get anything wrong. And you guys go to him and go, oh, it was this much and it wasn't. So I got him to write me a list to make sure that I get everything correct. Um, it also gives you the sticker as it comes with. So this is going to go on my little um, air fill and battery cover just to you know, represent that stickers come with. Or I think you could probably just buy them, buy them separately off him as well, to be fair. But just to run through my little list that I got off of him. For the 172 and 182 inlets, it's £180. So that's just for the upper and lower inlet with free painting. So you can choose whatever colour, however you want it to go. Sort of all over, really, you can do anything. So that's 180 quid just for those two. Uh, if you're in the 197 and 200 business, like I've got out there, the 197, he said the gains on these are better. So if you were looking and thinking, oh yeah, do I, and you're, you've got the 197, 200, um, you might be looking at a few brake horsepower more for doing those inlets. Um, but they are slightly more by 20 whole pounds, so they're 200 pounds for the upper and lower inlets. All the other parts, uh, anything between, uh, all the other parts sprayed, sorry, anything between 15 and 30, or oh, 15 and 35 for any of the other engine bay parts, so engine mount, fuel rail guard, uh, cam up cover, etc. etc. You might want to message him if we go any more into any more detail than that, but just for painting them is anywhere between 15 and 35 pounds. My engine cover was 40 to get pay, painted, so it was a little bit more again, but 40 for that one. And like I said, I went with the black gold so it matched the car, so I didn't go too bright in the end because I was going to go with the red that is on the lines there, but it's 40 pounds to paint that and 35, well, but anywhere between 15 and 35 to paint these two. Coming on to the throttle body, this is obviously another big part, another big decision that people normally have to make. Um, for the standard, just gas flow imported throttle body, it's £65. Um, if you're going for enlarged, so you're enlarging it to 64 mil, um, it is 125 So I went under 60 quid on top of that. So I went with a 65 but if you're looking for bigger power, you've got cams, you've got turbo, supercharger, whatever, you're looking for the bigger throttle body, um, it pushes it up to 125 quid, and that makes it bigger and it will replace on the inside as well to make that fit. But other than that, message him. 
he's a nice bloke. He's more than happy to help. He's more than happy to do anything you want, any queries and anything like that. Just give him an iMessage him on Facebook. Um, but Facebook, Instagram, he normally replies to all within a day or two. He's quite a busy man. So, um, yeah, get get in contact, let him know. Uh, he also provides the gaskets, as I said before. Uh, these are £20 for the pair. Obviously £10 each, I would assume, but he wrote down here £20 for the pair. Um, yeah, so hopefully I've been watching this video, I should keep my ass. But I am happy, I'm very, very happy with it all. As you could hopefully tell. I can't wait to fit it, I can't wait for it all to be on, I can't wait for my 1 2 to start. Um, but yeah, we're looking good. But this is his little sticker and the logo for his business, if you haven't seen already. Like I said, I'll leave links down below just to help him out. And hopefully, he can help me out <laughs> in the future. Because I was talking to him about brakes. He does all the brakes refurb, Bremo, standard 182, 172, whatever brakes. He does them all, all the refurbs, changing all, and just pretty much refurbing them and making them all good and pretty again. So, um, I want to get a set of front brakes done for the 182. I'm not going to push for Bremos yet. I'm just going to go with a standard brakes. I'm going to upgrade the pads and the discs next time I need a change on the 182. So that's what I'm looking for, but probably something like a red caliper or again a clean anthracite looking caliper. Um, and we'll go with that. But yeah, brakes and wheel refurb I'm going for next. We're going to uh, compare now to the standard. In So this is the obviously the non ported in glass gas flowed one. Oh, let's get the other one first. And when you put it on, well I might have to put you in closer. Damn it. <laughs> when you put it on, um, I hope you can see from this sort of the way it meets, there is a ridge the whole way around. And obviously in some places, like the sides here, put it on. There are no ridges. It's all smooth, flat, and pretty much sized to the gasket, the lower inlet into the block. And this is the side where it does make the big sort of tail tail difference. So this is a standard one. Sorry. Like that. And this is gas float one. If I can hold it in play. So a massive difference from sort of probably one mil there. Do a good, <laughs> do a good sort of three, four mil there. This is one thing he says that K Tech doesn't do as well. Is one getting all the way through? If I can get the light in the right place, as you can see, it's been poured in gas flow the whole way through around the corner, and then doing that face like so. Whereas they just do that one, not this side. But that's about all the information I can give you. Like I said, if you're looking for any more, pop onto his Instagram or Facebook. That's the easiest way and have a little look. Nice and clean, so just a bit of a sneak peek. This is hopefully. Oh, where am I going to go? There, somewhere. Look what we're going to look like. Oh man, that's going to look so good. The red is too far off, that red either, so that's pretty decent. I just said to him, just go with like a bright red because that's pretty much what the induction kit is and the lines, so. Yeah, it's going to look decent. It's that painful moment. Don't get it wrong. 
Sweet. Perfect.